raise the so-called zero COVID proposal today, uh, uh, for even this proposal for even harsher lockdown measures for the remainder of the year? A report was published recently of the international correspondence and workings of the so-called Independent Scientific Advisory Group, which has been pushing for zero COVID. And this group has many members, many of whom are virtually household names, such as the regularity of their appearances in the media. But their internal correspondence suggests that the group is not basing its positions on strict science, but in fact has been massaging the facts to try to entice politicians into adopting zero COVID. Just four weeks ago, the group head wrote to its members asking them to, and I quote, look for ways to increase insecurity, anxiety and uncertainty, and to quote, go after people and not institutions because people hurt faster than institutions. He said that ridicule is man's most powerful weapon and that the threat of a thing is usually more terrifying than the thing itself. In other words, people should be scared into accepting zero COVID. Now, this reads like something out of Saul Alinsky's Rules for Radicals. Maybe it is something from Saul Alinsky's Rules for Radicals. But the Social Democrats appear to have bought into these proposals. Their correspondence suggests that the group has been deliberately adjusting its targets for zero COVID in order to convince that party's leadership to subscribe to the strategy. And all of this is in the public domain, and yet, incredibly, it has not been reported by RTE or in the print media. So why is such a group allowed to scaremonger without at least being challenged on their internal uh, conversations that we now know of, either by the politicians or the media? When a medical doctor advocates hurting people because people hurt faster than institutions, should that person's views be supported by Oireachtas members and reported uncritically in the media, I ask?